Hey, Prince of Peace parishioners, this is Father John. My plan is to send out a Monday message through Flocknote during this time of of a staying at home during the coronavirus um, pandemic. Just want to let you know I I miss everyone. Uh, I love you guys. Um, I'm hoping you're feeling well, you're doing well, and you're feeling good. Uh, I especially miss the school students. I miss seeing them at mass, praying together, and being you know just just kids. I miss seeing religious ed Wednesday and Saturday morning, and uh, our homeschoolers as well. I miss celebrating mass with you guys, but be assured that I have been celebrating mass uh, for you every day, myself or Father Gerald. It's strange not seeing you in the church when I do it. But since you guys are, so many of you are creatures of habit, I could imagine who's sitting where in what section because people tend to sit always in the same section. So let me read a scripture passage to you. This comes from Colossians 3, verse 15. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. So that comes from Colossians. I would like to at first think about the word grateful and what we're thankful for even during this time. Right now I'm grateful to be speaking to you directly through this audio message and that I have flock notes to do that. I'm grateful for our pastor, Father Gerald, and our wonderful staff who, who have found a way for me to communicate to you, but has done such a great transition, in my opinion, of trying to set us up, the staff, to do um, work and ministry from home, and that they've really been on top of things making the transition for our faith community as smooth as possible during this unprecedented time. So I'm very grateful to our staff. I'm very grateful that technology allows me to connect to you, to my family and my friends, and that I don't have to be separated or isolated socially, even though I have to be isolated physically from people. That's a great blessing. Even if this happened 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, we wouldn't have this kind of technology to stay connected to everyone. The second part I'd like to reflect on is the peace of Christ. We're united in one body and in the peace of Christ. And and with that... Just to remind you that only the peace of Christ comes from Christ. Our security, our peace, our love comes from Christ so that we can truly be one in the Spirit. And we could fall in love with Jesus even during this time of trial. Our peace comes from Him, and we could be at peace with the chaos around us if we continue to let Christ into our heart. Now, I know there's some challenges to invite that peaceful place into our heart because everything is so uncertain. And we're worried about the next day in the future. But there's some things that we could do when we are by ourselves, if we live by ourselves, or even with our family. So if we live with our family... We could always take a 15-minute break from each other, say it's quiet time. I know with little kids that might be hard. Or if you're an adult living with other adults, maybe just take an hour apart just to give each other a break. Try to establish routines. If you're working from home, try to set up a workspace. That might be very helpful. I know some of you have already done this, so this might be repetitive or redundant. 
to continue your daily prayers, making sure Jesus is within that schedule as well. If you haven't already, maybe set up a place to pray, a prayer corner, a prayer room. Try to use the whole house if you can. If you have to look at those four walls for for the next little while, make sure the the fullness of the house is used. But to make a place to pray so that you're able to have a place of peace and quiet and connection with God in a physical location in the house. Try to do life-giving activities, reading good books, maybe doing arts and crafts, playing family board games together, anything that's healthy, that's life-giving, that refreshes your soul and gives you energy afterwards. Unfortunately, we, we know a lot of things that we do that doesn't give us energy, and sometimes our bad habits have crept in. I know for me, when I'm binging too much on TV or Netflix or some other streaming service or playing video games too long on my phone, it's really nice in the moment. It's very distracting in the moment. But the second I turn off the TV or turn off the video game, uh, I feel worse than I did before. It doesn't give me more energy. It gave me less energy. It wasn't as fulfilling. Calling friends and family and and doing stuff with one another through the phone or FaceTime is a beautiful way to stay connected to each other. I get to call my nephew today and see how he's doing. I was supposed to see him over the weekend, but that all changed Uh, with the stay-at-home order. But it's great to be with them, at least uh, on the phone. Same thing with my niece. I'm going to watch a movie on Disney Channel so that I could know what she's watching, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. That's something we would have done together if I saw them over the weekend. These are just a few things in which... um, The Lord has helped me to be creative, to stay connected with other people, especially my family, friends, and you, my spiritual family at Prince of Peace. So today, what are we grateful for? Especially during this time of uncertainty, let us continue to bring Christ into your stay-at-home plan. Let us always remember our true peace comes from Christ. If you know anyone who would like to hear from Prince of Peace during this time, some of our parishioners, or maybe even some of your neighbors who are stressing and like to hear this Monday message from myself or a Friday message from Father Gerald or the Wednesday message from one of the deacons, please invite them to Black note. Once again, I miss you. I love you. Let's keep each other in our prayers and for those who are suffering from the coronavirus throughout the world. May the peace of Christ be with you and with your family today and of course our spiritual family, Prince of Peace.